So now I've got it out of the case. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just take the power off. And I could have taken it off before I took it out of the case, but actually I know that there's no power on. Uh, but if there was, that's where you wind. Uh, and what we've got here is a pole uh, and, a, and a ratchet wheel. And, uh, and on the end of this, there's got this little uh, tail on the end of the pole. Uh, and that's effectively acting as a spring. Normally this arrangement, you'd have a separate spring and uh, a pole arrangement, but I thought I'd be clever and have it <laughs> make it all one. And it seemed to work okay. So the way to take the power off, uh, and the power is in the mainspring, which is in this barrel here. Um, so it's just to wind it up a, a half a t half a clit, half a tooth, and just press down on the end of the pole until you've got all the power off. So there's no power on the clock now. So there's, if I do anything wrong, I can't damage anything. Not that there's anything much to damage on this clock. Uh, this clock has uh, what they call stop work. So I so said the mainspring's in here. And what we do is we uh, test the springs and we use the central portion of the spring. Uh, so at the back here, here, this is a, a little stop work mechanism. So when you wind the clock up, I can show you now. Uh, I'll show you in more detail in a bit. So when you wind the clock up, there you go. There's a, you can, what you can't see is there's a little, t uh, a little, uh, a piece on the end of this 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 barrel arbor with a tooth on, and that winds up uh, this wheel here, one tooth at a time, and when it reaches the end, it 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 it, it prevents you from overwinding. And I'll show you that in a bit. So back to here, we'll take the we'll take the power off again. There we go. Powers off now. 